I'm gonna be going over a trade that we took live in the trade room today. We were on our live Zoom call and then I also sent this specific trade in the chat uh, in our Discord channel. So these are the type of trades that you guys can expect uh, when it comes down to us trading the New York session. Um, specifically, we've been trading a lot of NAS 100. You know, the thing about NAS 100 is you can get in there, catch a couple hundred pips really quick in a few minutes on very specific moves. And that's what we've been taking advantage of. And I wanna show you guys how you guys can take advantage of it too. But before we get into the actual analysis, I'm just gonna show you guys in our Discord channel where we sent that specific trade out. Uh, in our Discord right here, I said about to, about to try to buy NAS off this zone. So pretty much what I was saying is as long as NAS comes into this zone, this is kind of where I would wanna like to, to, to take price and, and you know to execute on NAS. So let's go ahead back onto the charts and I'm going to simply explain to you guys why we took this specific setup and how it kind of played out. All right, so with that being said, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hit replay tool just so you guys can understand what I was looking at in re live real time. So uh, we started looking at the charts this morning uh, during New York session. Right here, we had this big initial push of the NYC open, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time candle. We see this big candle. We had a big spike down, liquidity grab, you could say, grabbing all this liquidity. And then we had a very aggressive move up. So what we wanna do is we wanna trade what we see and not what we think we see. What I saw on this specific move was I went to the 15 minute time frame first. I saw this buy to uh, this sell to buy movement right here. So there was a sell to buy movement right here, highlighted in this box. And then what I started doing is scaling into the lower time frames. Now the reason why I was scaling into the lower time frames was just because I wanted to see what was in this wick. I wanted to see if there was any big body candle in this wick somewhere in here that we could potentially play off of. So what I did is I went to the micro time frames. 30 second, found that candle. I went to the 15 second and then I went lower, but you know, I ended up just choosing the 30 second candle. Now, what I did off this 30 second candle was simply just marked off the low and I also marked off the high of that candle or pretty much the, the open and the close. What we did next is we just went back to the five minute time frame, and then I just looked at a few different things. On this specific time frame, I noticed there was an imbalance right here from here to there. So what I did was very simply, I just, you know, went from the wick to the wick to see the imbalance. And then lastly, we were just kind of targeting these highs. We had an overall TP that was much, much, much higher. But the thing about the overall TP was um, we had a TP1 at about 17, 8, 585. And we had a TP2 uh, a little bit above that. We ended up taking profit early on this setup. And the reason why is just because it kind of came into our zone uh, and moved away relatively quickly. It also came into a nice premium level in the FIB retracement as well. If you take the FIB from the low to the new high. And then we came through, we got wicked in. And then within two five minute candles, we had already kind of smashed through TP1. Uh, so within 10 minutes of our entry being executed, we'd already smashed TP1. And then we had ended up closing early. We closed early somewhere right around this specific candle. It was one, two candlesticks. And on this third candlestick open, we ended up closing a little bit early. I don't know if you guys saw in the Discord, but I said, fuck it, let's close this. And then uh, TP2 was here. Some of the guys in the chat held it out. Uh, but you know, overall, the thing about trading NAS is what I've learned and what I like to do when I'm trading NAS is if I find a, a, a structural wave or a range such as this range right here, if price does give me the pullback and the entry that I desire, you know, if I'm happy with the profits that I'm seeing while we're in the position, I'll usually just close half or close partials, move stops to break even, try to hold things out. But if it's really moving and going, um, like today I was up and I was just like, yo, fuck it. Let's close this thing. One of the biggest things I could say is always just taking profit at either the week high or the week low, depending on if you're in an uptrend or a downtrend. But in this case, a majority of the team got out where I got out. Some of them held it a little bit longer, did eventually make one more push up, but then I think it changed directions overall. But overall, this was a really quick and simple NAS trade that we took. This was one of the NAS trades that we have taken. Yesterday, we took one as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and break that one down as well because I explained this one pretty quick. So let's go back to yesterday's price action and I'll explain this one to you guys as well. Perfect. This was another trade that we had taken on our live trading session. This one was a little bit different though. This one was a one minute trade. Now, the thing that I was doing on this specific idea was this. 
is first off, we saw a price come up and grab liquidity above this high. So my thought process is, is okay, if it grabbed liquidity, more than likely it should drop. And then if it breaks structure, then I need to wait for some type of correction to go lower. So once again, you had to trade what you see, not what you think you see. And the next thing we did is we went down to the lower time frame. So on the lower time frame, I'm looking at things that are being mitigated and not mitigated. So for one, for me, I saw this wick right here on this specific candle as a mitigation. The next thing I saw was, you know, price made this low, it pulled back, it made this buy to sell movement to mitigate here. And then we had the big initial drop that broke structure there. So my thought process on this was, hey, if this is the unmitigated region or unmitigated area that we're looking at, what I should specifically do is wait for price to come up in here and then we wanna see it come down and we'll get out at the low. So for this one specifically, what we did is we threw our GAN box on this. We were looking for a 50% entry, boom. And then the stops were like right above these highs and then the TPs were down here. And then, you know, price came in, tagged us in. And then this one was a little tricky though. It came really close to stopping us out, you know? But the thing I like, is momentum. When you can see the momentum, it's always good. We went very fast to the downside and then we kind of built up this channel and we had a slow corrective buildup. And then eventually what happened is we had a very fast move to the downside. And then boom, when price was down here, we ended up closing it. It didn't come exactly to the exact tippy tip to the low, but we ended up closing it before it ended up reversing on us, right? But this was a good one as well. This was about 300 plus pips. So. What I'm gonna tell you guys is the thing that I like about NAS is you could take some of the concepts that we're showing you and take it on NAS and just trade at a very specific time, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, wait for specific big movements to happen off of the open of price, and then just wait for either a, a breakout continuation or a break of structure and a reversal. But from there, uh, those are just two setups that we've taken this week. Uh, a little bit over 700 pips on NAS alone. And that doesn't even include FX. So if you guys like this quick little breakdown of these trades, I'll leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let us know more of what you'd like to see. And above that, I would say, make sure you join the Discord. It's free to join. Um, we have a premium section in the Discord as well where you guys can trade with us each and every single day. But we're doing live trading once a week with the, with the overall community so anybody can join and participate as well. So hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed the breakdown and then showing of the Discord as well. And with that being said, y'all have a blessed day. I'll see you on the next one.